Hey guys, so we are day three into the seven day mini series and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching these series of videos and there is a super exciting giveaway at the end of the video so make sure that you stay tuned throughout the whole thing. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video. All right, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today is day three of our seven day mini clean series. So today is all about cleaning out your medicine cabinet, which in my case contains a lot of cannabis products as I'm a medical marijuana patient and a lot of different supplements as I prefer to treat my body naturally most of the time as opposed to with pills. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I do have endometriosis um, and I have chronic pain from having Lyme disease for so long in addition to the endometriosis. So I have been treating myself like homeopathically and working with a naturopath since I was, I believe, nine. So I've picked up some tips along the way, um, which makes it a lot easier for me. Um, but today is all about cleaning out my medicine cabinet, which I'm already thinking, and I know I forgot a few things, but I know they're all things that I just need to toss, so I won't worry about it too much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I figured that we could get this video started with a little dab, because, you know, that's what I'm trying to do, just take a little dab. So while I wait for my banger to cool down, um, I figured I would kind of talk about the game plan for today. So today what I want to do is go through all of these items, throw away any old medicines or supplements that are expired, um, and then kind of catalog what I have for weed goodies. <laughs> and from there, either find some to donate, um, slash do a giveaway, which there might be a giveaway in this video, um, or, you know, to give to friends or stuff like that. So, or what I want to keep. And today is also about kind of figuring out how to simplify what is up here as well, because I know I have a lot of things on this little shelf that don't need to be up there because they aren't necessarily daily pieces for me. Let's get started. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the easiest section of this first, which is my medicines slash uh, my supplements. So with my endometriosis, you basically only have four options for treatment. You can take Lupron, which I have taken. It has fucked me up really bad. Um, it's not very good for my body and I don't really recommend it to a lot of people. Um, you can take a progesterone based um, hormone which is called Depo Provera or you can take birth control just like regular estrogen based birth control or you can go through surgery. So a lot of taking care of your endometriosis is having a diet and the right supplements that help prevent inflammation and balance your hormones. So for that, I have taken a few different things in the past. I have actually kind of gotten off track with that and I know I need to start back up as my endo has been getting kind of bad. Um, and then this is my vitamin D3. I take 5,000 units. I am prone to being D deficient. <laughs> Let the dick jokes come in. And then I have another bottle of dim that I will put to the side as well. <clears throat> so these are the ones that I want to keep out. 
These are the ones that I don't need so much right now. And that covers like all of my actual medicines. Uh, so now we can move on to the fun part, which is the weedy goodies. <laughs> so I have a lot of weedy goodies. I get things sent to me. Um, I buy a lot of various things. So I'm kind of like a little bit overwhelmed on how to even tackle this because there's just so much stuff. So what I think I'm going to do is kind of clear some of this over to the side. I'm going to set up some piles in front of me. There's going to be a keep pile that is going to stay like out on the shelf. There's going to be a keep pile that can be kind of put in other spots. And then there's going to be a donate slash giveaway pile. So let's start with what's in this stash box. I have a fantastic Futurola um, acrylic grinder that I've actually used quite a lot, although it can't really like handle my weed, but they're very convenient when you don't want to use a normal grinder. <laughs> or if you're traveling too. I have some trash in here as well, lol. Um, so this was a pipe that I got in a stash box. I have not used it at all, so I'm going to throw this in the giveaway pile. It's pretty cute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a little octopus on it. I guess I should do the giveaway pile over here. I have this little grinder necklace that I got from a stash box as well. So this is what it looks like. And you can just use it as a normal grinder, which I think is pretty cool, but not something I would use. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile as well. <coughs> because, you know, like, why not give back to the community if you aren't going to use it, you know? My favorite, the stash box Be Kind lighters, definitely in the keep pile. We have these Tree Mojis stickers, which I'm going to put in the giveaway pile because I never know what to put stickers on or pins. I get like massive gridlock decision on what item to put it on and then I never use them. We have these two wandering bud pipes. So I'm going to speak honestly about these. <laughs> this one is pretty good. It's okay. It has a decent sized bowl pack. It's equivalent to a one hitter. This one I'm really kind of upset about because I paid extra for this like geometric piece and it's hard to tell, but the actual hold put the bud in is like, it's so small. You can't fit anything in there. So that was kind of really disappointing. And honestly, this piece is just going to get thrown out because you can't really use it. I don't know what you would use it for. I've tried to like take hits of, off of it before and it just, it doesn't do anything. Um, even the actual circular piece is kind of rough, but it does, it does fit like a one hitter amount. This one though, I would say don't order the geometric pieces. Like her pieces are beautiful, but the geometric ones, like I just don't think you can get a good hole in there for a bowl pack, I think, you know, because of the shape. So <coughs> I'm going to toss that to the side. And like, I always want to be honest with you guys and let you know about stuff like that because like those pieces are really beautiful. Like that's gorgeous. Um, I like the circular ones. I just don't like the geometric ones. So then we have a tight pack. So this needs to be cleaned, but it'll probably end up in the giveaway pile. 
so I guess I'll just put it there because I don't really use it. Oh, nice. I have a ton of cones. Can never go wrong with papers. <clears throat> Absolutely love toker pokers. I don't use them so much anymore. Um, and it is because of a couple reasons. Is it because of my bash tray, first of all? But then also it's because of multi-tools like the Riot multi-tool and the Nuggy, um, which I do have a code for the Nuggy in my description box if you would like to purchase that. It helps us both out. You save some money. Um, so I do really love toker pokers, though. They are fantastic. Got a Futurola joint roller, which these are my favorite joint rollers. Um, Futurola is not my favorite papers, to be honest. They're good papers. They're decent papers. I'm fairly picky about my papers, though. Um, but this joint roller is the best. <laughs> And then I just had a bowl that goes to one of my pieces in there, so set that off to the side. <clears throat> so next thing I'm going to kind of go through my 420 Science stash jars because I have a ton of them on the floor right now. Um, and I'm definitely going to be giving a few of these away, which I'm really excited about for you guys because I really love 420 Science so much. I think they are such a wonderful company. I think they come out with fantastic products that are for anyone's aesthetic, which I find really difficult to find items within my aesthetic. So like this piece, I love so much. Um, I will have it linked down below because this whole collaboration was just amazing on their sash jars. Then we have the No Bad Trips, which is their UV one. I love the UV ones, protects your weed from the light. I have a No Bad Trips, just like plain glass one. It's gonna go in the donate pile. And I have a far out glass one, which is gonna go in the donate pile as well, because I really wanted to give away a, um, a jar, <laughs> God a jar from this collection because it's it's just such a good collection the artwork is so amazing like I don't know if you can really see it but it's so good and here's the no bad trips one up close <clears throat> so I guess one of the next things I'll go through is this mega pack that I got sent so, glass blinds are cool, but I don't really use them. Um, so, this is going to go in and be a giveaway piece for sure. And it's all cleaned and stuff, so that's good. Then I have this taster, which needs to be cleaned, so I'm going to keep it out. Um, but I love this. Like, it, here. Here, let's let's take a take a smoke break. This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> this is gonna be a long one, you know. So these like little grab labs tasters hold a perfect amount of weed, especially for me. Um, I like to microdose a lot of the time, so having something that's this small is super handy. And you get a few hits out of it, so. It actually holds um, a lot more than you would think. So that one I definitely want to keep. I have another tight pack, which I'm gonna keep as a dupe too.
So actually, I'll talk about these pieces for a second. This is my Make Good Choices piece, which I'm not too sure if it's actually focused on. Um, but it is a bare bowl, which is amazing. I need to clean it because it's a little clogged right now. But it's beautiful. And then I also have my Make Good Choices lighter chillum thing which has the smoked bowl in it from last night. Again, I really love this piece. It's become a daily piece for me because of the actual like bowl pack amount is just really nice. I'm like looking around like, ah, there's so much. Um, I have a torch, which I'll put over here. So I have a couple grinders here. I have the ISO grinder and the Cali Crusher. Um, and I actually have another ISO grinder to put in for a giveaway. So I'm gonna pop that over there. Um, but I really like the ISO. The only thing right now is I think my weed is, I think my weed has a little too many trichomes for it. It gets backed up and stuck around the stainless steel um, but they're really nice stainless steel grinders I definitely recommend them I just think my weed has been a little too like wet for it lately so it just gets a little bit clogged which it happens in any grinder like this Cali Crusher it's not so bad because of the whole configuration of it um, and I think honestly just because this one is older it I don't know I don't know what it is but they're both very good grinders I keep multiple grinders out because I often don't like to mix what weed I have because a lot of the time I'll pick a sativa and an indica so I want the indica when I have pain or around bedtime and then I want the sativas in the morning like right now the dab I took was cherry pie and the um, bowl that I put in the Grab Labs taster was wedding cake. This bowl, it's so beautiful. I need to finish what's in it and then clean it. This is like everything from my dab station. This is another thing about the 420 science jars. Like I use them for things like this, like to hold Q-tips and extra dabbers. chocolate covered almonds. So this product is the THC and it's pretty cool. I got it in a stash box and it basically, it basically is just a like magnifier that you would use to look at your plants. It has a couple different light settings on it, which is cool. So I recommend those. Have the Lynx Gaia as a vaporizer. Um, this is just a friend's that I've been borrowing, but it's really nice, super nice quality. I really like it. Um, wish the pack was a little bit bigger, but you know, it's all good. Keep jar, <laughs> bash tray. The bash tray is amazing. Favorite ashtray in the entire world. Has a little scraper, um, is metal, <laughs> has joint holders, or if you want to stick a pokey in there as well, in case you need something a little bit smaller. But I love the bash tray so much. I'm actually gonna put it back up here.
Okay, cool. So this is still really overwhelming right now. Um, you can't really see it, but on the floor in front of me, I've basically just pulled everything out. I've kind of separated them into piles. Um, but what I'm going to do is clean off the top of this and then go ahead and put the items that I know I'll use daily on top and then store the other items elsewhere. Okay, <laughs> so I am going to start with the pieces that I know I use the most or that I use just currently. So like I have my bash tray already up there. This has weed in it. This has weed in it. I'm realizing I use a lot of smoke items daily. <laughs> um, like just looking around trying to simplify this, I'm like, wait, but I need all that stuff out, which is kind of funny. I don't like, it doesn't feel like I use a lot of different things during the day, but like I'll use the dab rig. I might want to smoke a bowl over, you know, loading up a bong. Um, so that's kind of an interesting revelation is I really like variety in my method of consumption and I think just based on kind of like how I'm feeling so that's interesting clean that piece should clean the bowl too All right, so I think I'm kind of done with the items that I want up here, aside from a few pieces that I want to clean. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try to fit a bunch of different like smoke items, like we have the Futurola roller and like papers and stuff in this container so that it's just kind of all stuffed in one space still. I just fit quite a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> like that's a pretty nice little roll up kit because it's mostly um, rolling material and then one headers. So that's cool. And I think I'm gonna put my additional, like my extra stash jars just on one of my shelves because they're cute to me. I'm gonna dump the shake into my little shake jar slash uh, vaporizer jar. All right guys, so here is the game plan. Um, I have finished putting everything on the shelf that I can put up there right now, aside from a couple pieces that just need to be cleaned today. So I'm gonna go down and do that after this. 
and then the rest of the items I just kind of have to have uh, or to find home homes for so I'm gonna go do that <laughs> probably drink some more coffee because I can feel myself kind of fading right now um, and then I will catch back up with you in a minute all right guys so I have finished cleaning up all of my glass I have put everything away um, in its right spot and I just wanted to tell you guys about the giveaway in this uh, video so Right here, I have a Grab Labs glass blunt. It's a little hazy because it just got cleaned, but this is what it looks like. You can pull it out, stuff as much as you want in there. It is great if you're smoking with a lot of people, um, or it's good for solo use too. I just don't use glass blunts as much as I should. And then this is something that I'm really excited about. Um, it is a riot like hard case for your weed. So there you go. So it looks just like this. It's a clear plastic container. It completely seals and it's super portable, super nice and easy to travel with. Um, I've actually personally used this quite a bit. I just cleaned it up for you guys. I just don't use it as much as I should, especially where I have all the 420 science jars. So I figured this would be a good little combo to keep together. You can keep your ground up bud for when you're ready um, and just stuff your glass blunt as you go. So to enter this giveaway, you just have to do three things. You have to first subscribe to me on YouTube. Second, follow me on Instagram, which is Rue Gets Lifted, just as it is on YouTube. And third, comment with a, an adventure spot that you've been like dying to go to, some place that you really wanna travel to and just explore around for a few weeks and why. And then that's it. Those are just three basic things that you have to do and you can win this Riot hard case and this Grab Labs glass blunt sent right to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are having a fantastic time cleaning up your own spaces and decluttering as you go. And I will catch you in the next episode tomorrow. Bye guys.